<sighs> I don't even know what day of clap A's we were on right now, but that pretty much is irrelevant to the point of this video. First off, the only people that are actually supporting Zaire are the Xbox fanboys, which right there is indicative of the average intelligence of your Xbox fanboy here in the sector of YouTube. People want to be like you, Zaire? Really? People want to be fat, sloppy, overweight, pregnant looking, stupid, illiterate, dirty? Hmm, that's news to me. You're a real dude. Yeah. You're a real dude, Zaire. You're a real dude. You are a pathological, compulsive liar. But yeah, you're a real dude. And nextly, we're obsessed with you, yet you're the guy that mentions us in pretty much every one of your podcasts. Hell, you even go onto other people's channels on other people's podcasts and talk about us. But you know, we are the ones who are obsessed. When I watch your videos... Literally and seriously, I mean this. I can't tell if my video or my internet connection is lagging or you're really that dumb. You can't speak properly and you're just stuttering. It's really that bad. The nerve of you to be talking mess when you can't even read, write, you never finished high school, you lived with your grandmother into your mid-twenties, you never had a job into your mid-twenties, and you just recently got a GED. You are the biggest fraud in this community. And who do you make videos with? Who are you friends with? Who do you associate with here? A man who is not only a racist, but a man who is equally as big a fraud as you are. Talk about you lost all your possessions in a fire. You're only able to save your Xbox One. You chose to save a video game console over that so-called $20,000 you had. Yeah, okay, you kitchen gangster. All you do is lie, lie, lie. You've built up so many lies upon lies, they don't even make sense anymore. Not economically, not legally. Let's say we believe your dumbass had your house catch on fire and you've lost all of your possession. Let's hypothetically say we believe you. Um, what happened to your homeowner's insurance? You know, the thing that's illegal to not have when you own or purchase a home? Being that it's illegal to purchase a home without homeowner's insurance? You know that your bank can foreclose your mortgage if you don't have such a thing, right? So, you expect me to believe that all your stuff went up in smoke, poof, magically like an Everland PC, burnt up in a fire, and yet you lost everything. But you can't get everything back because apparently you never knew what a thing called homeowner's insurance was. See, homeowner's insurance, if you had it, if you actually legitimately owned a home, would have reimbursed and compensated you for the items you lost in a so-called fire. When 7th Level was robbed a year or two years back and all of his games and computers and TVs, blah, 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 etc. were stolen, his homeowner's insurance compensated him for the items and the things that he lost. Why hasn't yours? Oh, wait. Because you don't own a home. You are not a homeowner. There was no fire and you didn't lose any of your things or any of your possessions or any of your stuff. All that happened was your dumbass had to go back to Renaissance Center, return everything you were frauding over, and you needed an excuse to get away from all those lies, lies, and lies about you not having that $12,000 PC. We're not stupid, Zaire. We are not stupid. We know you're stupid, but we are not stupid. You guys can point the finger at him, and if you do that, it's really unfair. It's really unfair. It's my team. And if you guys do that, man, it's unfair. We lost as a team. We lost as a team, man.